Thanks for watching Ask Dr. Quip brought to you by Quip Laboratories. The question of the day is, what's the difference between alkaline and acid cleaners and which is better for my facility? For facilities looking to implement a facility hygiene game plan, this question comes up quite a bit in the early stages. After all, cleaners are one of the most basic components of a proper sanitation regimen. So let's start off with the basics. First of all, what do we mean when we say acid or alkaline cleaners? When we use the words acid and alkaline, we're referring to the cleaner's place on the pH scale. Acid cleaners are cleaners with a pH lower than 7, and alkaline cleaners are ones with a pH higher than 7. When a cleaner has a pH right around 7, we call that a neutral cleaner. So what difference do they make practically? Acidic cleaners, like our acidulate line, are often used to remove mineral deposits or oxidation on many of the surfaces you use every day. They can be exceptionally handy to brighten metals, clean glassware, and in cage wash solutions. Acidic cleaners can also be used for removing any starches such as food soils, carbonates such as calcite, and insoluble hydroxides such as silicate minerals. Alkaline cleaners, on the other hand, are great at removing soil. In fact, since many soils are acidic, alkaline cleaners can be very effective, particularly against organic soils such as oils and fecal matter. Many cleaning applications involve both an alkaline cleaner and an acidic cleaner, which can cover an array of different soils and also help to control the pH of the wastewater produced while cleaning. Now that we've covered the core question, let's talk a little bit more about cleaners. After all, what you're really wondering about is the difference that cleaner characteristics can make. At Quip Labs, after we decide if we're going to make an acidic, alkaline, or neutral cleaner, we then decide which surfactants, sequestering agents, and chelators we'll need to achieve our targeted goal. First up is surfactants. The word surfactant is shortened from surface active agents. These specialized organic chemicals are soluble in both oil and water, which allows the cleaner to lift oils from a surface and hold these oils in a solution. The resulting emulsion is then easily rinsed away. Additionally, surfactants aid in spreading a solution evenly across a surface, allowing the cleaner to make contact with more of the soil. We'll go over the science of surfactants more in a future video, but for now, just know that they're often essential to getting oil and pertinaceous soils to release from a surface. Next up, sequestering agents. We can add sequestering agents to increase the detergency of a cleaner. A sequestering agent is a substance that surrounds and removes ions from a solution. Because of this unique ability, sequestering agents are actually often used to remove water hardness. The third type of additive we can add to a cleaner is called a chelator. Like sequestering agents, chelators also bind to ions and help to deal with water hardness and inorganic soils, such as the minerals left behind in urine scale. Finally, let's talk about solvents. Solvents dissolve other substances to form a solution. What role do solvents play practically in your facility? Solvents contribute to coupling ability, they reduce surface tension, they control evaporation rates, as well as allowing cleaners to penetrate grease and reduce soil viscosity. And there you have it. Depending on the soils being dealt with and the intended characteristics of the cleaner, we combine these elements together with some serious scientific know-how to create the most powerful and efficient cleaners on the market. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching the latest Ask Dr. Quip video brought to you by Quip Laboratories. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember, Quip Labs makes it safe, simply and sensibly.